everyone today we are going to solve the zombler test bank questions question 31 to 60. question 31 which of the following is the strongest oxidizing agent so to know the strongest oxidizing agent we need to find the best cathode or the best one that reduction happens to it so to find to make all these equations in the cathodic form we need the electrons to be on the left side of the equation so we need to make sure that all the electrons are presented on the left side of the equation so we have this on the left side we have this on the left side we have this on the left side so after making sure that all the electrons are on the left side of the equation we need to find the one that has the highest reduction potential so apparently in this equation the one with the highest reduction potential is MnO4 negative question 32 which metal L or Ni could reduce Zn positive 2 to Zn solid if placed in a ZN positive 2 aqueous solution. To answer this question, we need to find the one which is the anode and the one which is the cathode with ZN. So we need to make two equations, AL with ZN, and we need to make another equation, NI with ZN. From the first equation with AL with ZN, we need to identify which one is the anode and which one is the cathode. To identify the anode and the cathode, we look at the electric potential. So if we have both two negative potentials, we need to look at the ones that have the highest numbers in the electric in the negative electric potential. So it will the, this equation will be reversed to its anodic form. So L will be changed to L positive three plus three electrons, and the negative sign will change into a positive sign, positive sign, and it will be the anode. So if we add these with each other, it will give us a positive reduction potential. A positive reduction potential mean, means that this reaction is spontaneous. This, uh, the reaction that is spontaneous is the reaction that is willing to happen. But a non-spontaneous reaction is a negative reaction that is not willing to happen. So if we look at the other equation, we need to find which one is the anode and which one is the cathode first. The anode, the anode is the one that has the highest negative numbers in the negative potential. So in this in this situation zn is the uh, anode so we will change zn into its anodic form so if you look at this ni positive 2 actually reduces zn to zn positive 2 and the, the, the problem needs an, a metal al or ni that reduces zn positive 2 to zn so this solution will not be accepted so we have only al that can reduce zn positive 2 to zn number 33 which of the following is the best reducing agent? The best reducing agent means the best anode or the best one that can that oxidation can happen to it. So we need to change all the equations into its anodic form, and we need to find the ones that have the highest potential to be our best anode. So if we change this equation to its anodic form, it will have a potential of negative 1.36. If we change this equation into its anodic form, it will have a potential with positive 2.37. If we if we change this equation into its anodic form, it will remain the same. So apparently, with that, as we see, the one that have the highest potential is Mg. So Mg will be the best reducing agent. Question 34. Consider the galvanic cell shown below. The standard reduction potential are as follow. What is the potential for this cell? So we are going to answer this question. Firstly, we need to identify which is the which is the anode and which is the cathode from these two equations. So the anode will be the one with the least with the least electric potential. So we are going to change this equation on its anodic form. So it will be changed on its anodic form and the value of EMF will change from negative 0.727 to positive 0.727. And we are going to add these two equations with each other to give to, to give us the potential of the cell. So after adding them with each other, it will give us a potential of 1.817 volt. Question number 35. Consider the galvanic cell shown below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. Which of the following statement about this cell is false? So we can cancel two statements which we are absolutely sure that these statements are true. The first statement which is this is a galvanic cell. Apparently this is a galvanic cell because it doesn't have an electric source in it. it this is a voltmeter so this will be a galvanic cell. The second statement that we will then delete from our selections is that the cell is not at the standard condition which is a true a true statement because a cell that is in standard conditions means that the, this these two these two 
electrodes have the same number of moles but this is not the situation in this cell so this cell is not at standard state to go in the answer we are going to identify which one is the cathode and which one is the acid to identify the direction of the electrons flow so as determined in the previous problem the anode was CR which will give us CR positive 3 plus 3 electrons and the cathode will be BR2 plus 2 electrons which will give us 2 BR negative so the electrons flow in the outside of the galvanic cell is from the anode to the cathode so we will have the, the electrons flow from CR to the BT electrode but one of the statements is show, shown in the problem says that electrons flow from the BT electrode to the CR electrode which is saying that the electrons flow from the cathodic electrode to the anodic electrode and this is a false statement because electrons flows from the cathode to the anode from the anode to the cathode question number 36 refer to the galvanic cell below the standard reduction potential are as follows what is the cell potential of this cell to answer this question, we need to identify which one is the anode and which one is the cathode. Again, the one with the lowest reduction potential will be the anode and the one with the highest reduction potential will be the cathode. So we are going to change this equation to its anodic form. So it will be as follows. And we are going to change its reduction potential from being positive 1.330 to negative 1.330. After adding these two with each other, it will give us a reduction potential of 4.176 volts. Question number 37. Refer to the galvanic cell below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. When the current is allowed to flow, which species is oxidized? To find the species which is oxidized, we need to find the anode. So, from these two equations, the one that has the least reduction potential will be the anode. So, this equation will change to its anodic form. And the species which are oxidized are is this species which is CR positive 3 so this is the answer question number 38 refer to the galvanic cell below the standard reduction potential are as follows when the current is allowed to flow which species is reduced In the previous example we have solved the species which is oxidized and we have said that, this, that the species which are oxidized are the anodic species but the species which are reduced are, will be the cathodic species so we need to make sure that all the equations are presented in their cathodic form. So apparently, apparently this is done for us. So we are going to look at the ones that have the highest reduction potential and the species which is reduced will be MnO4 negative. Number 39. Refer to the galvanic cell below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. What is the oxidation state of Cr in Cr207? So, the oxidation state is another name for the oxidation number. To find the oxidation number, we need to replace CR as an X in its equation. So, we will have an equation saying, so, 2X or 2CR, which will be replaced by X, plus 7 times the oxidation number of oxygen that will be replaced instead of oxygen is negative 2. So, 2X plus 7 times negative 2 equal negative 2, which is this power of the equation. So, we will have an equation that says 2x minus 14 is equal to negative 2 so we will the 14 will go to the other side like a positive so it will be 2x plus 12 equal 12 so x will be equal to positive 6 so the oxidation state of cr in cr207 is positive 6. number four refer to the galvanic cell below the standard reduction potential are as follows what is the value of q the reaction quotient for this cell reaction to, to find the reaction quotient, we must have the coefficient of each element and we must have each element's concentration. So we are going to balance these two equations with each other because we, are, we need to have the coefficient of each element. So to balance these equations, we need to balance the number of electrons in each one. So we are going to now balance the number of electrons of each one to 30. So we are going to multiply the first equation by 6 and we are going to, uh, to multiply the second equation by 5 after changing it to its anodic form. 
so this will be 6 MnO4 plus 48 H positive plus 30 electrons that will give us 6 Mn positive 2 plus 24 H2O and the other equation will have 10 Cr positive 3 plus 35 H2O it will give us 5 Cr2O7 plus 70 H positive plus 3 electrons by, subtract, by subtracting the ones that are on the opposite side so we are going to remove 30 electrons with 30 electrons we are going to subtract 70 H positive minus 48 positive that will give us 22 H positive we are going to put this as it is we are going to put this as it is we are going to subtract 35 h2o from 24 h2o this will go down as it is and this will go down as it is so we'll have this equation as our product of the two of balancing the two equations so the law of reaction quotient says that the concentration of products power the coefficient of each product over the concentration of reactants power the coefficient of each reactants so we are going to put the product with their coefficients as, as their power so our, our first product is mn positive 2 which will be power 6 as its coefficient cr2 and as so so we are going to replace our, or substitute each element with its concentration from the drawings in the previous in the previous page so 0.2 will replace mn positive 2 0.3 will replace cr2 and after calculating this using our calculator we will find that the reaction quotient is equal to 1.5 times 10 power negative 4 the 41 refer to the galvanic cell below the standard reduction potential are as follows in which direction do electron flow in the external cell As it is a galvanic cell, the electrons flow from the anode to the cathode. So first, we need either we need to identify which one of these two equations is the anode and which one is the cathode. So the one with the least reduction potential will be the anode. So this will be changed to its anodic form. So the electron flow will be from the anode to the cathode. Cr is present on the right and MnO4 is present on the left. So the, the electrons will flow from the right to the left. Number 42. Refer to the galvanic cell below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. In the balance cell reaction, what is the stoichiometric coefficient for H positive? So, as we did before, to find the coefficient of each element, we need to balance the equation first. So, after we balance the equation by the previous method, we will find out that the coefficient of H positive at the end of the equation is 22. So, the answer will be 22 which is the coefficient of H positive in this solution. Question number 43. Refer to the galvanic cell below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. How many electrons are transferred in the balanced equation? Or what will be the value of N in the nearest equation? Find the number of electrons transferred we need to look at the number of electrons transferred after balancing the equation. So this will not be the number of electrons transferred or this will not be the number of electrons transferred. The number of electrons transferred is the number of electrons transferred after we balance the equation. So after balancing our equation, we will see that the number of electrons transferred is 30 electrons. So N or the number of electrons transferred in the equation is will be 30. Question number 44. Refer to the galvanic cell below. The standard reduction potential are as follows. What is the cell potential at 25 Celsius as read on the, on the, on the digital voltmeter? The cell potential or the E max is what we want to find in this equation. So we are going to use an equation that states that the EMF max or the cell potential which we are going to need is uh, summation of these two cell potentials minus 0.0591 over n which we have found in the previous problem times logarithm q which is the reaction quotient so we want to find the emf max and we have the reaction quotient which is equal to 1.5 times 10 power negative 41 and we have n which is equal to 30 and if we minus these two with each other it will give us uh, the summation of the cell potentials with 0.18 volt so we are going to substitute each element with each 
with with h with with, with it's a number so we have 0 0.18 minus 0 0.0591 over 30 times logarithm 1.5 times 10 power negative 41 so if we put this in our calculator it will get us an emf max value of 0 0.26 volt question number 45 a cell is set up with copper and lead electrons in contact with CuSO4 aqueous and the PPNO3 respectively at 25 threads. The standard reduction potentials are as follow. If the lead and copper are each one molar, the potential of the cell in volts is. To answer these questions, we need to find which one is the anode and which one is the cathode. The anode is the one that has the lowest reduction potential. So lead equation will be changed to its anodic form so we'll have lead equation in this process pp will give us pp positive 2 plus 2 electrons and we are going to add these with each other so it will give us a potential of 0.47 volt question number 46 consider an electrochemical cell with a zinc electrode immersed in one molar zinc zinc zn positive 2 and the silver electrode immersed in one molar ag positive calculate the summation of the cell potentials for this cell as we know to answer this question we are going to identify which one is the anode and which one is the cathode but first we need to balance these two electrons so we are going to multiply ag with 2 so we will we want to find the one with the lowest reduction potential and change it into its anodic form so in this situation zn is the one that have the lowest reduction potential so it will be changed into its anodic form after adding these both with each other it will give us a potential with 1.555 volts number 47 the galvanic cell described by this cell notation has a standard cell potential of 1.101 volts given that zn which will give us zn was 2 plus 2 electron has an oxidation potential of 0.764 volts determine the reduction potential for cu positive 2 first, we need to understand how the cell notation is written the cell notation is written first we will start with the solid anode then the aqueous anode then we have the salt bridge which is these two sticks with each other then we will have the cathodic the cathode aqueous cathode then we have the solid cathode so we have this cell notation that is given to us and we want to identify the two oxidation and reduction process from this cell notation so we have zn solid which will give us zn positive 2 plus 2 electron and this is an reaction and we have cu positive 2 plus 2 electrons which will give us cu and this is the cathodic reaction the volt given for the anodic reaction for us is 0.764 volts and we have the cell potential the whole cell potential is 1.101 volts so we have an equation that says 0.764 plus x this x is equal to this cell potential will be equal to 1.101 volts so x will be the difference between these two so it will be 0.337 volts so the, the reduction potential for CU positive 2 will be 0.333 volts. Number 48. The following question refers to a galvanic cell that utilizes the following reaction unbalanced. Given the following information, determine the standard cell potential. To solve this question, we are going to divide this equation into two equations, an oxidation and reduction equation. So the first equation we have is AuCl4, which will give us Au plus Cl negative, and this will be our cathode. And the second equation is Cu, which will give us Cu positive 2 plus 2 electron, and we will change this because the potential is given for Cu positive 2. So we have the potential for Cu positive 2, so it will be the anode. So, so from the equation we have two potentials which is 1.4980 and 0.3390 we will leave them as the same because we are not going to change any one of them so we will have 1.4980 minus 0.3390 which will give us a cell potential of 1.1590 and this will be our answer 
number 49. Choose the correct statement given the following information. To answer this question, we need to find which one is the anode and which one is the cathode. Again, the one with the lowest reduction potential will be the anode, and the one with the highest reduction potential will be the cathode. So the second equation will change to its anodic form, so it will be like this. And the first equation will remain the same as it is the cathode. So we have a fact that one of the solutions is true that Fe3 aqueous, which is this, is more likely to be reduced than Fe3 complex to Cn negative. And this is true because this is the anode and this is more likely to be oxidized than to be reduced. So this will be more likely reduced than Fe3 complex to Cn negative. The following questions refer to the following system, and this is, uh, the anode reaction is given to us and the cathode reaction is given to us. Determine the standard cell potential. So as said in the problem, we have both the anodic reaction and the cathodic reaction. So we don't need to identify which one is the anode and which one is the cathode because it's already identified. So what we are going to do is to add these both with each other to find the cell potential. So we are going to add negative 0 0.7990 plus 0.9644 to give us a potential of 1.1654 number 51 which of the following would be the best oxidizing agent actually this can be done by looking at the standard reduction potential table if we search for cl2 equation we will find that it has the highest reduction potential of 1.36 volt so our answer will be Cl2. Question number 52. Copper will spontaneously reduce which of the following? So to answer, by looking at the standard reduction potential table, we need to find the one that will copper react with to give a positive potential. So if you looked at the reduction potential table and we calculated the EMF of copper with each one of the solutions, we will conclude that only AG boost will make a positive potential, but the other solutions will not make a positive potential with copper. Number 53. Determine the standard, the standard potential of a cell that employs the reaction. To identify the cell potential, we need to find the anode and we need to find the cathode. The anode is the one that has the lowest reduction potential, so we will change the equation of Fe into its anodic form. So it will be changed to positive 0.441, and we will add them with each other to give us the potential of the cell. So it will give us a potential of 0.781 volts. Number 54. Of Sn positive 2, Ag positive, and or Zn positive 2, which could be reduced by Cu. by two methods. The first method is to look at the chemical activity series on the on the right side of the page. So, we need copper to re, to re, to make copper react with an element of the elements given in the problem. We need copper to be more active than this element. So, we have we have been given zinc, we have been given tin, and we have been given silver. And this is copper. So we need cover. So we need the element that cover is more active than it. So we see Sn is more active than cover. As we go up, the elements are more active. As we go down, the elements are less active. So tin is more active than cover, and Zn is more active than cover. But if we see silver is not more active than cover, it is less active than cover. So silver will be our answer. The other solution is to look at the reduction potential stable and define the one that cover will react with and to give a positive potential so it will be our answer. 55. You wish to plate out zinc metal from a zinc nitrate solution. Which metal, Al or Ni, could you place in the solution to accomplish this? If you wish to play zinc metal, you need zinc to be the anode. So you need a metal that is more active than zinc in order to be able to play it. So we are going to look at the chemical activity series. We find out that zinc is here and L is more active than zinc, but Ni is less active than zinc. So L will be the only one that could play zinc out 
as zinc it will be the anode and the AL will be its cathode. Question number 53. Which of the following is the best reducing agent? So the best reducing agent is the one that has the highest ability to lose electrons as in, oxida as in oxidation electrons are lost. So we need to look at the elements that have the highest tendency to lose electrons. So Mg have the highest tendency to lose electrons and change to, Mn, to Mg positive 2. So this is it. Question number 57. What is the cell reaction for the voltaic cell shown in the following cell notation? As we know, the line notation is written as the first we start with the solid anode. Then the aqueous anode, then we have the salt bridge, then we have the aqueous cathode, then we have the solid cathode. So this cell notation is given for us. The Bt is known as an inert electrode, and it is put as the solid electrode because we have here a gaseous cathode and we have here an aqueous cathode. So we are going to have the following equation. Cr will give us Cr positive 3 plus 3 electrons, 2Cl negative will give us Cl2 plus two electrons and this will change this is a cathodic reaction so it will change to be a cathode in the cathodic form and we are going to multiply this equation by two to balance the electrons and we are going to multiply this equation by three so we need to have an equation that have on its left side two cr solid and have on a and and three cl2 so gaseous so we'll have so this will be our answer Question number 58 What is the balanced chemical equation corresponding to the following cell diagram? So, we need to identify this cell notation into two equations, two half reactions. Na solid will give us Na positive plus electron, Cu positive 2 plus 2 electrons, it will give us Cu solid. So, we are going to multiply this equation by 2. It will be 2 Na, which will give us 2 Na positive plus 2 electrons. If we add this by each other, the electron cancels, and we will have 2Na plus Cu positive 2, which will give us 2Na positive plus Cu solid, and this will be our answer. Question number 59. Which of the following cell diagram represents a galvanic cell? So we have given, we have been given. Sn positive 2 dash Sn, which will give us an equation Sn positive 2 plus 2 electrons, which will give us Sn, which have an EMF of negative 0 0.138, and this equation will be H positive plus electron, it will give us H2 with an electric potential of 0 volts. So this will be changed to its anodic form because it will be the anode, and we are going to add a Bt, an inert a solid electrode, to this as it is the cathode. So we we want to find an equation that has Sn positive two the the stick which is the anodic stick Sn positive two to Sn and we have the salt bridge which will get, and we have Bt on the other side so this will be our sorry question number six the following has a potential of 0.92 volt. If the concentration of ions were one mole and the pressure of H2 were one, at one atmosphere, then cell potential for the half cell reaction would be. To answer this question, we are going to use Nernst equation. Nernst equation states that the EMF max is equal to the cell potential minus R, which is a constant for gases, times the temperature in Kelvin divided by n which uh, which is the number of moles of electrons times the frequency which is a constant that is equal to um, 69485 times ln q as given in the equation the concentration is 1 mole so the value of q will be 1 and ln 1 will be equal to 0 so we have ln 1 times RT over NF which will be zero and this will cancel so we have an equation that says that EMF max is equal to the cell potential so when we have in the equation that EMF max is equal to 0 0.92 so the cell potential will be equal to 0 0.92 and that's it for this equation hope you understand this go through and good luck